Can I ask you something, Krom? Uh-oh. Should I be nervous? When you found me collapsed and without memory, why did you take me in? Well, because you were collapsed and without memory. That's it? Pity was your reason? Isn't that enough? Did you never stop to consider if there was some kind of trap? Huh. <laughs> That's what I had Frederick for. But, why didn't... Robin, if I see someone hurt or in need, I'm going to help them. That's just who I am, and there's no changing it. Or would you rather I'd left you there face down in the muck? No, of course not. I'm thankful for what you did, I truly am. But it scares me all the same. Chivalry and longevity often don't go hand in hand. Huh. I wish I had a gold coin for every time I got this lecture. I can only offer advice, I'm afraid. You really should be more careful in the future. I'm sorry, but no. If it happened again today, I'd do the same exact thing. But... Peace, Robin. I have heard your counsel, and I know you mean well. But as I said, this is who I am. I can't change that. Nor would I want to. I... I understand. If that is your decision, then so be it. Just do try and be careful, Krom. For my peace of mind, if not your own. I will. I promise. Krom, are you alright? Uh, yes, I'm fine. What's got you so excited? I heard you were attacked behind the mess tent. <sighs> Some local thug approached with the dagger, but he bolted when I drew iron. It was dark. The poor fellow probably thought he was mugging a merchant. <laughs> you challenged him alone? Well, I wouldn't say challenged exactly. More like shoot away. Can't very well leave that sword around camp now, can we? By the gods, Krom! Please, I beg you! Do not take any more of these foolish risks! <laughs> you do realize we're at war, right? Just walking onto the battlefield is a risk. I don't fear anyone besting you head-on. I fear you being stabbed in the back. Many of our enemies do not share your sense of honor. Do you really think some random cut purse would get the better of me? Shall I list every hero who said that before being poisoned, sniped, or snared? Well, I don't think a list is necessary. You're our commander, Krom! Battlefield victories mean nothing if an army loses its leader. You're no longer simply your own man. You stand for all of us. Enough. You have a point. You're right. As you always are. I will be more careful. Thank you, Robin. I hear you've been going on patrol with a couple of the men. Only to patrol the immediate area. You know what I'm going to say, don't you? That it's too risky and I need to be more careful. Yes, thank you, Mother. But if you know this, then why? Look, I understand enemies could be lying in wait to try and kill me. But there could also be others who need my help. There's a war going on, and people are suffering. I can't ignore them. I won't. So why not send your men to search for these hapless innocents? Because... 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 of you. If I hadn't have been there, if Frederick alone had found you, would we have ever met? Uh, probably not. You see? And it's not just you, Robin. It's everyone like you. I know going out there exposes me to danger, and I haven't always been careful. But it's a risk I'm willing to take in order to connect with the people. To forge bonds. Bonds? Between who? You and me? Me and the others? The villagers we've met? The world we've seen? Such bonds are the true strength of this army. Without them, we're lost. Others may disagree, but that's one benefit of leadership. I make the final call. 
It's hard to argue when you use me as your example. But at least let me come with you. So you can watch my back? That's part of it, yes. But I also want to be there when you find the next me, face down in a field. I want to help you make this army stronger. I want to help you forge new bonds, 